Okay, I just received my ordered uh, fridge warmer storage case slash armrest. And here's a picture of it on the box. It says that it holds up to seven liters of beverage, um, which is uh, nine nine twelve ounce cans it says that it it will hold and uh, you plug it into your cigarette lighter and um, the specs say that it draws two point eight amps so you're that is well within the ten amp rating of the uh, fuse which powers the cigarette lighter in, in the car doesn't need ice because when you plug it in and you flip the switch either to cooler or or uh, the, the heater it will uh, turn on and start getting the inside of the box either cold or hot and I have tried it out already it works pretty good I'd say within uh, 15 minutes this this box is starting to get pretty darn cold along the sides and the bottom and and uh, comes with a a nice sturdy cabinet and lid nice neoprene gasket that goes all the way around a little magnet holds it shut you can hear it click on the top it's got a couple of uh, cup holders and a a uh, arm rest pad. In the front we have a little fan here and it takes air in and blows out both sides of the unit. This is where you plug in your um, cord for the cigarette lighter. I think it said it was about six feet long. Very well made. Good solid hinge on the back. On the bottom is uh, some molded in plastic feet, which, uh, if I've measured correctly, should sit on the on the uh, sides of the uh, center console and in, in the Kia. The height of the box is 12 inches high. It is about 12 inches deep. And the width from uh, from side to side is about six and a quarter, as I measured. Once again, it's a pretty deep box. Get lots of uh, food or beverages in there. Got this for fifty-five dollars on sale, delivered. And I thought it was a nice alternative to spending a couple of hundred dollars on a Kia uh, center armrest uh, alone, where this provides the armrest, cooler, uh, a heater, and uh, if you don't want to use the cooler or the heater, then you could put your CDs in here or use it for whatever you want to uh, keep in there. So let's go out to the Kia and see how it fits and hopefully I've done my homework and it'll fit nice and snug between the seats. Okay, here we are inside the car looking down on the center console which the cooler is going to sit on. So let's see how it fits on there. By the way, there's, there's um, plastic uh, feet on the bottom of the cooler and if I measured correctly those plastic feet are gonna sit right on the right on the uh, edge here here we go it's sitting right on the edge and let's see what it looks like from the back
that is right on the back of the console. You can see how it fits in between the seats, nice and snug. You do sacrifice one of your uh, cup holders here and of course your little storage bin underneath when you slide the, the uh, cooler over but you do have a couple of cup holders built into the cooler itself and here's the here's the armrest Now the cord gets plugged into the 12 volt power and then it goes in here. And when the ignition is on, has an on-off switch right here. Pushing it down energizes the cooler. And then there's a little fan on the front. Just makes a little bit of noise. Air comes out on each side of the grill. Taking a look inside again, you can fit nine 12 ounce cans in there. And I suppose it's pretty sturdy. It just moves around a, a little bit sitting on the console, but if you wanted to, I suppose you could put uh, some Velcro on the feet of the cooler as well as where it's going to sit on the console, and that would keep it set in place pretty good. Or if you wanted to make it a permanent in installation, I guess you could glue it with some strong adhesive just making sure you got it lined up on the on the outside rails pretty good first but um, I've already gone for a ride with the uh, the cooler without securing it and when I put my arm on it it, it just moves around a, ever so slightly but it's very very comfortable at 12 inches high when I'm driving and uh, It'll be nice having cold drinks in the hot summer. This is made by Wagon Tech. And they do have a website. If you uh, do a Google for Wagon, you can uh, take a look at the product closer. But for $55 delivered, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. And I think it's going to work out really good. Okay, one last thing. Um, what I've discovered here is that if you can, if you want to, you can um, have the uh, the unit uh, pushed all the way back and uh, resting on the back seat here, and it stays in position pretty well, and that that gives you access to your uh, storage bin and another cup holder. And also, you can put your arm right here as you're driving, and uh, it uh, it's in the right position. So you got your choice of either right here, or you can simply move it back, and it'll stay put just on a slight 25-degree angle. As such, thank you.